How's it going everybody and welcome back to Lead Therapy. After nearly 170 years based in Massachusetts, Smith & Wesson is moving its Springfield headquarters to Tennessee. And I'm just going to read this information straight to you guys. This has been an extremely difficult and emotional decision for us. But after exhaustive and thorough analysis for the continued health and strength of our iconic company, we feel that we have been left out with no other alternative. Mark Smith, the president and CEO of Smith & Wesson, said in a statement on Thursday, Smith & Wesson is not closing its facility in Springfield, where the company has been based since 1852. The gunmaker said it will keep some manufacturing operations in Springfield, including revolver assembly, metalworking, and design engineering, and keep over 1,000 employees in Massachusetts. However, the company will move its headquarters and 750 national jobs to Marysville, Tennessee, a city about 15 miles south of Knoxville. The move will not begin until 2023 and will not have an impact on employees' jobs until then. The move also includes closing facilities in Connecticut and Missouri to significantly streamline manufacturing and distribution operations. So it's unclear how many of those 750 jobs are currently in Massachusetts. During a conference call Tuesday morning, Smith said the company will offer enhanced severance and job placement services to affected employees who are unable to make the move to Tennessee. During the call, Smith listed a number of financial reasons for the move. However, he said the primary catalyst for the decision was a recent bill proposed by Democratic state lawmakers that would ban the manufacturing of any assault weapon or large capacity feeding device in Massachusetts unless it's for the purpose of selling to law enforcement or military agencies. Massachusetts is one of seven states that already bans the sale or possession of assault weapons. But gun safety advocates and families of mass pew pewing victims have accused the state which led the nation in producing firearms in 2019 of exporting bloodshed to the rest of the country. The legislation, which has two dozen co-sponsors in the 200-member legislature, has not come up for a vote since it was introduced in the past spring. And House Speaker Ron Moreno suggested at the time that federal action would be a more effective way of dealing with the issue of assault weapons. Still, Smith & Wesson says it's a threat to their business. Why we are hopeful that this arbitrary and damaging legislation will be defeated in this session. These products made up over 60% of our revenue last year. And the unfortunate likelihood that such restrictions would be raised again led to a review for the best path forward for Smith & Wesson. The company cited several other reasons for the move to Tennessee, including the Republican governor and the GOP-controlled legislatures unwavering support of the Second Amendment, a business-friendly environment, a lower cost of living, and a favorable location for efficiency of distribution. The strong support we have received from the state of Tennessee and the entire leadership of Blunt County throughout this process, combined with the quality of life, outdoor lifestyle, and low cost of living in the greater Knoxville area, has left no doubt that Tennessee is the ideal location for Smith & Wesson's new headquarters. Construction on the Tennessee facility, which will comprise of the company's headquarters, plastic injection molding, pistol and long gun assembly and distribution will begin later this year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about Smith & Wesson moving to Tennessee. And if you enjoyed the video, or if I gave you some information you didn't know, and please like and share this video and subscribe and hit the post notifications and I'll see you guys in the next video.